Hey guys, my name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to explain how we can create a AWS account. So we already have a video on how to create an AWS account, but that video is a bit outdated and Amazon have updated their UI setting, UI, the look and feel. So in this video, I'm going to create a new account and I'm going to uh, explain what are the steps involved in that account creation process. For that, navigate to a web page aws.amazon.com slash free so go to this particular url so there is an option called create a free account so click on create a free account option so then we need to enter this information whatever the email id we are using here so that email id technically called as a root user email id root user so basically whenever you're logging with this root user credentials you are going to have unrestricted access on your aws account right so make sure you have give you are giving a valid email id and enter the password give strong and secure password so then what aws account name you want to give so generally whenever you're dealing with multiple aws accounts or whenever you're using aws organizations so this uh, like you know you can treat this as an identity for our aws account for example you have a production account non-production account devon uh, account test account so for easy identification purpose you can give this as a dev account or prod account or non-prod account or if it is just one personal account so you can definitely give your name so uh, i'm going to call this as production account so then click on continue now we need to fill contact information so in this contact information it will ask us is this account created for like you know for business purpose for your organization or else it's for personal requirement. You can choose that. So this is my personal requirement. So I'm going to select personal. And one thing, there is no big difference between these two options. So you're not going to get any additional options whenever you're choosing business and you're not going to lose anything if you select personal. I'm selecting personal. Then we need to provide the full name, phone number and country address information here. So let me quickly fill this information. So then address. So like this. Click on continue. So now we need to provide the credit card or debit card information. And Amazon accepts Visa card, MasterCard, American, American Express, or Discovery card. So make sure you give a valid credit card information. And Amazon is not going to charge us anything, but to verify this card status, they are going to deduct two Indian rupees from our bank account and however that's going to be refunded back into our aws account within three to five days so i'm going to uh, pause this video and i'm going to enter these details so once you enter all the required information so if you want to give your pan card information you can give it so otherwise you can simply click on no it's not a mandatory one then click on verify and continue so whatever the card information you are giving, Amazon will try to verify that card information and it will like, you know, send an OTP to your given um, uh, uh, associated uh, mobile number. So we need to enter that OTP. And if you observe, Amazon is deducting two Indian rupees here. So enter that OTP, click on submit. I have entered the OTP and click on submit. So then immediately it is taking me to verify uh, a page where I need to verify my identity. 
So we have an option that test text message. So whatever the phone number I'm giving here, and then when I enter like, you know, CAPTCHA and when I click on send SMS, automatically I'm going to get a text message to that mobile number and that, that whatever the code I'm going to get that I need to enter here. So if you don't want to go with the text message mechanism, you can choose voice call and you can give the phone number and enter the CAPTCHA. When you click on call me now, you're going to get a call from Amazon Web Services and you need to answer that call and you're going to get a four digit pin number on your screen. You need to answer and enter that four digit pin number. So then your identity verification is going to complete. So I'm going with text message mechanism and India and So then immediately, like, you know, when I click on send SMS now, so um, whatever the phone number I have given in previous screen. So then to that phone number, I'm going to get a pin. That pin I need to enter here. All right, I got that pin. And I'm entering that pin here, then click on continue. So now we need to choose the support plan. So selecting the support plan is important. So if you are looking for any assistance from Amazon Web Services, so uh, based on the support plan only, Amazon provided assistance. So under basic support plan, we are not going to get charged anything, but you won't get any technical assistance from Amazon Web Services. So total three assistances we have, we, we will get from AWS, accounting and billing related, service limit increase, technical support. So first two, uh, we are going to get under this basic support plan also. If you are facing any issue related to account activation or billing related, yes, you can do that. But if you're trying to get any assistance from AWS regarding technical things, we won't get under basic support plan. And it's a free. When coming to developer support plan, it starts from $29 per month. And within 12 to 24 local business hours, we are going to get assistance from AWS. When coming to business support plan, so 24 by seven support we are going to get and one hour is a response time. Based on the issue severity we are giving, is it a business critical system or like, you know, system impaired. So based on that severity we are giving, we are going to get assistance, but uh, least uh, assistance uh, response time from AWS is one hour. For that, we need to pay $100 per month. And we do have another one that is an enterprise support plan. For that, we need to pay 15,000 per month. And this, um, like, you know, response duration reduced to 15 minutes, right? And we are even going to get a technical account manager. We call him as TAM. So I'm going to choose basic support plan, then click on complete, sign up. Now, here you observe our account creation is completed. Click on go to the AWS management console. Now click on this option, sign into the console. Then if you, whatever the email ID you have given, if you navigate to that mailbox, you can find this particular email, welcome to Amazon Web Services, a welcome email from Amazon Web Services. See, sometimes you might land into this page. Here we have an option, sign in using root user email. Click on that. Select root user and whatever the email ID you have used, to create your AWS account, give that email ID, click on next and enter the CAPTCHA. Click on submit. So then enter the password you have set up while creating this AWS account, then click on sign in. That's it. Our account got created and we have logged in. Whatever the account name you have given while creating this account, that you can find here. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos on Amazon Web Services. Thank you.